In the previous video, we had seen how microorganisms are useful for us, how it helps us in preparing food, in medicines, in cleaning the environment through decomposition and enriching the soil through nitrogen fixation. Today, we are going to look how microorganisms can be harmful to us. We know that microorganisms are the main causes for communicable diseases, contamination of food and spoilage of leather and clothes. Communicable diseases Microorganisms can cause disease in humans, plants and animals. Such microorganisms which cause disease are known as pathogens. These pathogens can enter our body through the air we breathe, water we drink, food we eat or even by the direct contact with an infected person. It can be even carried through animals too. So, diseases that is microbial diseases which spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food or from an infected person are known as communicable diseases. Some examples of communicable diseases are cholera, common cold, chicken pox, malaria, etc. A person who is infected with common cold while sneezing releases fine droplets of moisture carrying thousands of viruses into the air. This virus may enter the body of a healthy person while breathing. Hence, it is advised to keep a handkerchief on the nose and mouth while sneezing as well as we have to maintain a distance from the infected person. There are some insect and animals which act as carriers of the disease causing microbes. The major carriers of these microbes are house flies and mosquitoes. House flies sit on garbage and animal excreta and the pathogens stick to their bodies. When these flies sit on the uncovered food, they may transfer the pathogens and make the food contaminated. Whoever consumes the contaminated food is likely to get sick. So, always keep your food covered. Avoid consuming uncovered items of food. Another example of a carrier is the female Anaphilus mosquito which carries the parasite of malaria and the female Aedes mosquito who acts as a carrier of dengue virus. How can we control the spread of malaria and dengue? Mosquitoes breed in stagnant water. In order to control them, their breeding sites should be eliminated. Ensure proper sanitation and drainage, especially in the urban areas. Drain the filled puddles, pool and swampy areas, tree holes, old tires, flower pots or any buckets or any containers which are left over. We all remember the proverb, cleanliness is next to godliness. Keeping ourselves and our surroundings clean can help or prevent the spread of communicable diseases. Here are the examples of various communicable diseases caused by bacteria, protozoa, virus and how they are transmitted from an infected person to a healthy person. Microorganisms also cause diseases in animals. For example, Anthrax, which is a dangerous cattle disease, is transmitted to human also through a break or a wound in the skin. Anthrax is caused by the bacteria Bacillus anthracis. Another common disease that is the foot and the mouth disease is caused by a virus. Similarly, plants are also affected by the microorganisms. Citrus canker caused by the bacteria rust of wheat by fungi and yellow vein mosaic in the lady's finger by the virus are examples of microbial infections in plants. Food poisoning is a very common illness or a condition. For most people, it is usually mild, but it can be severe and even deadly for some individuals. In most cases, food poisoning occur when people consume contaminated food, expired food items, adulterated food or unpasteurized milk and milk products. 
Almost all forms of food poisoning produce nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, etc. Let's take some precautions to prevent food poisoning. Always wash hands with soap and water before, during and after preparing food and before eating. Use hot water and soap to wash knives, utensils, cutting boards and countertops. Rinse all the vegetables which we are going to use in our food. Always use fresh meat for cooking. Avoid unpasteurized milk and most important cover your food items from the different carriers of microbes. It's a common scene during the rainy season or even when we do not use our leather and clothes for a long time that they get infected by the fungus. What we can do is wash with soap and water, dry them up in hot sunlight and we can use naphthalene balls or camphor to prevent such infections. Hope this video was informative for you. Please subscribe the channel for more videos.